Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So maybe you're considering making a move to Ellicott City, but you're wondering what there is to do here in the area. Well, today I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite uh, places to go, which is Centennial Park in Ellicott City, Maryland. Uh, this is an area where, uh, you know, I go a lot. It just depends, you know, maybe it's by myself just to get out in nature or do, uh, you know, a workout. Um, or if I'm looking to spend some time with my wife and my kids, this is an area that we also go to as well. So whether you're looking to just get some alone time or looking to spend some time with the family, this is definitely a place that you want to check out. So let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things living here in the great state of Maryland. So if that's the kind of information that you're looking for, then you're definitely in the right spot and we really appreciate you being here. And if you're wondering whether making a move here to Maryland is the right decision for you, if you're considering uh, purchasing a home and you just have questions and want to have a conversation about that, we absolutely love helping out in any way that we possibly can. So however you feel most comfortable reaching out, whether that's by phone, text, or email, Days, nights, and weekends, we've got your back on moving here to the great state of Maryland. All right, so today we're talking about Centennial Park in Ellicott City, Maryland. Definitely one of my favorite spots to hit up here in the area. So if you're looking for something to do, if you're looking just to get outside, uh, this is definitely an area that you wanna check out. So one of the things that I like about it is that it's super conveniently located um, off 108 and very close to 29. So if you're looking on a map, you've got 29 running north and south, one of the main, uh, kind of the main interstates uh, or highways running through Howard County. And then you've got 108, which shoots off uh, east-west. So it's not too far from the 29 108 intersection there um, and really easy to get to and also multiple um, entrances. So it's got at least three, uh, possibly four entrances. So uh, which makes it just kind of a cool place to go to as well, where you don't have to really um, fight for, you know, parking, especially during the week. I will say uh, on the weekends, though, it does get, you know, pretty busy. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. If you can get there during the week, um, especially the first couple times that you go, just to kind of get familiar with it, um, that's definitely something I would recommend. So um, this is a 54-acre man-made lake, although the entire park sits on over 300 acres. So when you kind of get into this area, you kind of feel like you're in a, you know, really big open space. So definitely a lot of areas to check out. And this is a park uh, that's owned and operated by Howard County. So um, if you become or you are currently a, a property taxpayer here in Howard County, this is definitely something um, kind of where your money is going to. So definitely something you want to take advantage of. So sometimes I find myself getting frustrated uh, with all the taxes here um, in Howard County and Maryland. Um, but there's definitely a lot of cool things uh, to do, especially in Howard County with all the parks and all the, the stuff that they put those tax dollars towards. Um, so definitely something that kind of uh, gives me a little more uh, peace of mind uh, when it comes to paying some of the taxes that we pay here in Maryland. So definitely a cool area to check out. As I mentioned, it's uh, right off of 108. And 108 is the divider really between Columbia south of 108 and then Ellicott City north of 108. So if you're looking to come here to Ellicott City or you're possibly considering Columbia, this is a park that's going to be very accessible to both Ellicott City and Columbia since it's right there on the border. All right, so a couple things um, that the park is gonna have um, is gonna be one, it's gonna be a 2.6 mile loop around the lake. So just the, this just makes it very accessible um, and easy to get out and walk, um, whether it's with the dogs or the kids uh, or get out there and bike or skate. Um, so definitely something that's really cool about the area is having that paved loop um, around the lake. Um, and then there's gonna be four different parts uh, to the park. So there's gonna be a north, south, east, and west part to this park. Um, and between the four, it's really got it all. So there's gonna be basketball courts, there's a, a sand volleyball court, racquetball courts. Um, there's you know multiple picnic areas. Um, there's multiple playground areas. So it's really uh, a cool area for the whole family, especially if you have kids, there's just gonna be a ton to do. Um, and it's not a park where you just get there and then five minutes, you in, in five minutes, you've pretty much seen everything. This is a massive park, as I mentioned, on over 300 acres. So definitely a lot to explore where you can go several times and still experience um, new things. Another cool thing that they have um, is gonna be the boat rentals. So you can definitely um, use the water. It's not just to 
uh, to look at. So you can definitely um, you know look into that, especially I think from April 1st to the end of November is really when they um, kind of have uh, more of that stuff. So after that end of the winter, some of that stuff gets rolled back a little bit. So um, you can look into that. I will definitely be posting the uh, Howard County website specific to Centennial Park in the description. So if you wanna click on that, it'll give you um, more of the details um, about the park. All right, a couple other cool things that Centennial Park has going for it is that it does have an amphitheater area. So this is a park that's gonna, throughout the year, um, host events. You're gonna see some concerts and uh, kind of some social engagement things happening here at the park. Um, so that's definitely a cool little area that, that uh, it's got right by the water. Um, so that's definitely something to look into. And then um, it's got seven picnic pavilions. So if you're looking to host a gathering, a birthday party or something like that, and you don't really necessarily wanna do it at the house, um, this is a cool place to do that. As a Howard County resident, you do get a discounted rate. Um, so you can host, um, you know, some of them are, you know, anywhere from 40 to 60 people. Um, a couple of them you can have, uh, you know, up to and over 100 people. So, um, and the, the Howard County resident rates aren't too bad. Usually it's around 150 um, on up to 300 bucks, depending on the size and the capacity that you want. Um, but they do have some barbecues there. They've got, you know, shaded area with some, you know, sitting areas. So uh, definitely something cool uh, to look into if you wanted to host an event or a birthday party um, right here in the area. And last but not least is gonna be the wildlife at Centennial Park. And this is my son's uh, favorite part every time we go is going down to the water, um, looking at uh, you know, the geese, they've got ducks, they've got various uh, kind of birds uh, here at the park. And then a lot of times we see some white-tailed deer as well. So um, you usually run into some kind of wildlife uh, when you're here at the park, uh, kind of walking around. So definitely a cool uh, thing uh, here at the park that you would typically run into as well. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you ever have any questions about moving here to Maryland, please feel free to reach out and we'll see you at the next video.